From Milwaukee to Cudahy, so many feel heartbroken by the death of Officer Peter Jerving. I didn't stop crying until at least noon. It's way too many officers in too short of a time. Jennifer Clark, owner of Jen Sweet Treats, immediately wanted to help those impacted most by this loss. I knew that something needed to be done and we started planning right away. Next week, Thursday the 16th, 100% of our sales in the shop um, is going to get donated to Pete's family. A small token of appreciation worth every penny. These guys go out and risk their lives every day and unfortunately this didn't turn out. He, he didn't get to go home last night. I get to go home. I get to come to work today and Pete didn't. So I need to compensate that somehow. They lost a family member. I'm losing a few dozen eggs. It's not a big deal. In West Dallas, an empty bar stool at Natty Oaks in honor of Officer Jerving. The owner telling me they're sacrificing the best seat in the house because he sacrificed his life. At their sister restaurant, Henry Flock Steakhouse, one dollar of every martini sold will go to Jerving's family. All of these efforts a step towards healing as the community mourns. When tragedy strikes like this, um, instead of tearing people down, I think it builds people up. And um, unfortunately, it, it takes a tragedy to do that. Jen Sweet Treats is in Cudahy. Saria, how long will these fundraisers last? Well, those empty bar stools will be at both restaurants for the next week. They'll also be offering one dollar of every martini sold for the next week to the family. Now, as far as that fundraiser at Jen Sweet Treats, it's one day only Thursday, February 16th, and they really want everyone to know that you can pre-order as well. And then all of the money raised will go to the police union who will give it to the family. And so many people want to help. Syria Sandlin reporting live from Milwaukee's north side tonight.